The main focus of this recent trip um, was to go and work with Calvary Baptist Church in Accra and share with them how we at Emmanuel um, incorporate missions training into our uh, children's areas and student areas. We were, uh, they wanted us to come and do training for their student leaders and their children's leaders. And uh, we were, I think we were able to do that uh, fairly effectively. One of the incredible things this past trip that I was able to go on was that they really wanted to teach missions to kids. They've come to realize just how valuable missions and kids' lives is and how that's our calling is to go and make disciples. So I was able to do trainings with their adult leaders. So we did them in the evenings and they would come and we did a seminar uh, multiple nights throughout the trip where we got to talk about what we do here at our church, but also things that they can do in their context. I think moving forward, um, we're wanting to see how uh, Calvary Baptist uh, will uh, catch the vision of the local church being involved in going cross-cultural, uh, not just in Ghana, but uh, possibly to the, west, the rest of West Africa. Uh, and not just themselves, but maybe they can be an influence on, on other churches in Ghana and West Africa. and, and uh, hopefully they can, uh, you know, be the start of a, of, of a movement where West Africa can be reached by West Africans. They've been known for a long time as a as a church that plants churches. They plant many, many, many mission churches around the Accra area but they've never really been a sending type church. They've been more consumer focused, which is tends to be the culture there in West Africa, but Calvary's desire to change that and to shift that. So about three years ago, we were asked to come and help further train some of their people on beginning with being a go culture. Just the idea of going to their, their community that surrounded them and now they move from a going culture to wanting to really develop a sending culture from the senior pastor all the way down to the Sunday school teachers and the sheepfold leaders, which is, which is what they call it there in, in Ghana. And so we've been given this awesome privilege of going over and further training their people to not just be a people that says, come and help us, but it's to come and train us so that we can help and serve others.